I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test papers of my students and this one is on probability distribution. Uh, we'll discuss one by one each and every question from this test paper. Now let's look into question number two. It has two parts and I've actually divided the video in two parts. We'll consider the part A in this particular video. Here is the question. It says the discrete random variable x can take only the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The probability distribution of x is given below. That's the probability distribution. Determine the value of constants a and b if probability for x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 3 times for probability of x less than 2. So that's the condition. And probability of x for each real number is a if x is 0, 1, 2 and is equal to b if x is 3, 4 or 5. Right. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this question, let's write down the probability distribution. So what are we given here? Okay, so we are given that the random variable is x, right? So that's the random variable. And we are given its probability in terms of a and b, right? So we are given the probability of these little xi's, right? Now the value of x could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, right? So it could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 5 right now it says here that if the value of x is 0 1 or 2 the probability is a so for first 3 the probability is a and if x is 3 4 or 5 the probability is b so for these the probability is b I hope that is clear right that's the first part what else is given to us we are also given this condition. Do you see this condition? Right. Let me rewrite this. It says that probability for x greater than or equal to 2 is equals to 3 times the probability for x less than 2. Right. Now, what is the probability for x greater than 2? That means this part. It is b, right? So we can write here b is equals to 3 times probability of x less than 2 is a, right? 3 times a. So we get a relation between a and b. So what we get here is 3a equals to b or b equals to 3a. So let me call this as my equation number 1. How do I get the second equation? I have two unknowns. Well, the second equation I get from the sum of these probabilities, right? So sum of these probabilities, all these. Now that sum has to be equal to 1 and that simply means that a plus a plus a plus b plus b plus b is 1, right? So that is a plus a plus a plus b plus b plus b equals to 1 or 3a plus 3b equals to 1. Now from equation 1 we know 3a is b so I could replace 3a by b, right? So so this could be b plus 3b equals to 1, which says 4b equals to 1, or b is equals to 1 over 4. Is that okay? So we get the value of b, right? So, so what we have got here is, uh, let me continue. Okay, so let's continue on this side. So we have the value of b, and we can write what a is, right? Since b is 1 over 4, we know we have this equation 1. So we have equation 1 which says b is equal to 3 times a. And now we know here, let me give this as equation number 2 as b is equal to 1 over 4. Correct? That means I can write 1 over 4 for b. So I have 1 over 4 equals to 3a. Or I can say a is equals to 
1 over 4 times 1 over 3 which is 1 over 12 is it okay so we get the value of both a and b so let me write down the answer now so the answer here is the constants a and b are a is equals to 1 over 12 and b is equals to 1 over 4 correct so that is how you can solve such a question well this was as you know part a of the question we'll do part b in the next video thank you and all the best